novices, are you gay? Do you have a partner? Do you have any special someone right now? What's your tag? Describe the person you choose to marry. Hey guys! Uh, I'm Mateen, you probably know me from Instagram or TikTok. Uh, a while back I posted a story on Instagram asking you guys to ask me questions so I can answer them on a YouTube video. I know it's been like four months since then, I'm so sorry for the delay. Uh, but I had so much going on at that time in my life. But I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you, <laughs> we don't care. Jerry now I got some free time, so I have the opportunity to create more content. So here we are for the Q&A. I have all the questions in my phone right here. I've divided them into different groups. I'm going to start with the personal questions group first, so you guys also get to know me a little bit better. First question would be, how old are you? When's your birthday so we can celebrate it with you? I'm actually 23 years old. I'll be 24 in like two months. I was born on July 29, 1999. So I'm a Leo baby. <laughs> uh, I'm into astrology, but I don't know much about it. So those of you who know, that's my sign. Up. Where are you from and where do you live? Why BC? I think BC as in British Columbia, the province I live in. Uh, I'm originally from southern parts of Iran. I moved to Canada two years ago to study. I chose Vancouver mainly. I mean, I wasn't thinking about which provenance, but I was more focused on which city I want to go to and at the end I chose Vancouver because it's raining all the time and in my opinion it has the best weather out of all the other cities yeah so that's why I chose it I know so many people hate the rainy weather but me personally I like the rain so I'm happy about it uh, <laughs> I don't know why everybody's complaining all the time like come on bombastic side eye criminal offensive side eye Okay, next question. What's your height? I'm six foot four and that would be 195 centimeters. I slowly, I slowly started to be seduced by him. Like he started to seduce me. <laughs> what you been up to? I just officially graduated from college around two to three days ago. So right now I'm focusing on creating more content and being consistent with it because I know that's something that I lack but I'm trying to work on it other than that I'm also just like mostly spending my days going out playing games yeah those kind of stuff what are your favorite things to do? Ooh, I really like hanging out with my family uh, other than that I really enjoy playing games I love watching anime don't fuck with me! I have the power of God and anime on my side! Wait, you I draw sometimes I like writing. I also really like going to the gym and playing sports overall. I'm a kind of a sporty person. Like, most of the time you'll catch me like playing sports and being active and all those kind of stuff. Uh, or you'll just see me sleeping all day. What is your creative goal and ultimate passion? Ooh. <laughs> I got a bunch of stuff on my mind, but the main one that I'm currently focusing on is trying to finish a story I've been writing for the past four years and eventually I'm planning to turn it into a game. That's why I came to Canada in the first place, to study 3D animation so I can get into the industry. Other than that, I really want to post more content. I want to see how far I can go in this journey. It's been really good to me so far, so I just want to take it more seriously and see where it leads to. Who's your role model? I... I don't think I have a role model, I always just mostly try to focus on myself and I'm always trying to be better than the person that I was the day before. Boo, you whore. I'm just trying to play on my own league, trying to look up to the person I can potentially become. Girl, shut the fuck up. You thought you ate? <laughs> Bitch, you... Hey guys, it's me from the future, so I actually ate shit. <laughs> uh, I really enjoy watching World of Extra. Stan is one of my favorite YouTubers ever. Ever. I, I we have the same birthday. Like, that's crazy. Uh, other than him, I really enjoy watching Max and Yas and Neon. I sometimes watch Emma Chamberlain. I watch Tippy sometimes. He's also one of my most favorite YouTubers. Tiffany J here. <laughs> Not that they're my role models, I just really enjoy watching them and they inspire me so much. What's your worst fear? 
I think it would be having to pretend like I'm someone I'm really not every single day of my life. Uh, if you're a queer person, you get what I mean. If you're not, you might also get what I mean, but the girls that get it, get it. The girls that don't, don't. <laughs> Other than that, I recently discovered that I have this fear of heights. If I go near a really high ledge, my knees go weak, I start shaking a little bit. I'm planning to do bungee jumping and those kind of stuff like, like as exposure therapy, so it might get fixed, but for now, it's there. Let's, let me tell you something, let me tell you something. All right. Let me tell you something, let me tell you something. Wait. Well, now we're done with the personal introductionary questions. So let's get into the other section, which is the love life. Uh, first one is something that you guys ask me so much, both in the comments and also in the DMs, uh, which is, are you gay? Homosexual. Some point. Huh? Are you homosexual? A what? A homosexual. What's that? So I mostly identify with the label bisexual. Yeah! I'm overall more attracted to men than I am attracted to women. And whenever I'm talking to women, I'm way more stressed than when I talk to guys. So usually it's really easy for me to go for guys instead. Oh, what the what the what the What's your coming out story? I came out to one of my really close friends at that time. I think I was like 19, 18. She was really cool with it. I had such a good experience with her. She also helped me through the journey so much. Uh, after that, I also came out to a bunch of people. Didn't have much good experiences. Emotional damage! And overall, I just stopped coming out to people because in my head, I was like, straight people don't do it. Why should I have to do it? So yeah, that's it. But I also can get into so much more detail about my coming out story. But I think that would be kind of too much for this video. Uh, I'm probably going to do a separate one and talk about it more in depth. Because I know it's something that so many people have struggles with. I'll definitely share my story sometime. I hope when I do, it would be helpful to someone somewhere in that situation that I used to be. Do you have a partner? Do you have any special someone right now? I actually don't. I've been single celibate for the past four or five years. And it's not like I've been single because like, oh, people are like this, people are like that. It's just that I'm not searching myself. I'm not out there. I'm not going out to meet people like that. I'm not on the dating apps. So it's all on me and <laughs> I'm not blaming anyone else. Once in a while I'd be like, oh, why, why am I single? Like, you know, complain. Pick me! Choose me! Love me! And all that stuff, but that's just not putting any effort into meeting someone. And I think that's why. <laughs> if it happens one day, it happens. But right now I'm trying to focus on myself more than trying to pursue a relationship with someone. But friends are always appreciated. Like I always want to make new friends, talk to new people. I really enjoy talking with others, so yeah. What's your type? Describe the person you choose to marry. Uh, I. I'd go for someone that's really respectful, kind, trustworthy, and someone whom communication with feels easy and it doesn't feel forced. Boring! And overall, you can always say when someone's for you or not. It's also about the chemistry. Other than that, if you're asking about physical features, I usually like beard. <laughs> I'm a beard guy. Even though I said beards, like I don't care about those kind of stuff that much. As long as I'm attracted to a person, I date them and yeah. There's also this question which is saying, would you date a trans woman? Uh, I actually get so many questions like this. Like, we have a question that's saying, would you marry me please? I'm Mexican and I can make Mexican food. <laughs> also, we have another one that says, would you date an Asian? So overall, I don't care about race, gender, or any of those kind of stuff. As I said, if I'm attracted to someone, I will date them. As for this specific case, I love Mexican food. <laughs> Uh, Mexican food is actually one of my favorite foods, so yes, I would marry you, on the spot. I don't like cooking, I like eating more. Uh, even though I can't cook, I prefer not to, yeah, so yeah. So the answer to all questions would be yes. Who's your celebrity crush? Uh, I'd say I, uh, Ice Spice and Kristen Stewart are the two that come into mind. Other than these two, I used to really like Chris Hemsworth. No! I fucking got crazy! Oh my God. 
like. But I mean, he's married, so. Not. Well, I'm saying that as if I have a chance with Ice Spice or like. Because <laughs> the Stewart. Broke people should never laugh. Would you create an OnlyFans page? Just answer the question, okay? Please don't play with me right now. Just no. That's it. Please. Let's not. Please. I know this is gonna be disappointing for some of you guys, but the answer to that would be no. It's just not for me. <laughs> How can I get wide shoulders and what's your workout routine? So my workout routine, I usually don't have a specific one, but I always follow the same plan, uh, which is like I go to the gym six days a week and I train triceps and biceps in one day, chest in one day, shoulders in one day, back in one day, legs in one day. And then I do chest day twice a week. And as to how you can get wide shoulders, uh, if you're already going to the gym and you're not seeing any results, I really recommend you increase your sets from three to like six or even seven. My chest was the hardest part of my body to grow. And trust me, it works. So just give it a try and then let me know later if it worked or not. <laughs> Drop the curls routine, give us your skin routine. I actually don't have one, like, as for my curls, I mean, I don't have them right now because my hair is really short. They usually just come out when my hair gets really long, but I don't let it get that long anymore because I don't like how I look with curls. <laughs> as for my skincare routine, I don't have one. I just, like, wake up, wash my face with normal water and that's it. I don't use any specific products. I avoid foods that might give you acne. You probably know them by now. Now, how long does it take to have your hair waxed? I actually never wax my hair. I can't even imagine the pain. I always just trim my hair with my trimmer. And that by itself always takes me like one to two hours. And that's the main reason why I never shave. I occasionally shave every like maybe five months, six months. And that's only because I, in my head, I'm like, oh, that's too I'm getting too hairy and I need to cut it off a little bit. Or like I'm cutting, I need to see if I'm getting abs or no. <laughs> I need to see the situation, what's going on under all the hair, like I need to know. <laughs> what's your favorite Asian food? To be honest, I haven't had that much Asian food, but my favorites are sushi and fokiu. I mean, those are the only two that I've ever tried. Sushi is my favorite, so I'm gonna go with sushi, but if I tried more stuff, which I'm definitely gonna do in the future, I'll. I'll let you guys know the new answer. Do you like cats on MPS? What kind? Yes, I've had cats before. And if I ever want to get a cat, I'll either get a Siamese or I'll get your typical street black cat. Before, I used to have a Persian cat. Uh, we have one more question, which was, do you like posting on social media? Uh, actually, I do. Like, I used to be really insecure. I, Whenever I wanted to post something, I would be like, oh, who cares? Why are you even posting this? No one wants to see you. But you guys have been so supportive, both in the comments and the DMs, you always send me your supportive me messages and you always give me compliments, you're really nice and I'm really grateful to have you guys. And overall this is kind of so crazy for me, like it has helped me so much to gain back my confidence, kinda, I still need so much work to do on myself. Yeah, that's it. And on that note, we're gonna end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the video. Uh, let me know if you had any ideas for me to do for future videos, like if you'd like to see me do ASMRs, mukbangs, I don't know, anything, vlogs, just let me know. Also, if you guys have any feedbacks or criticism, just let me know in the comment section. Hope you have a good day, night, uh, depending on where you are. Love you, bye bye.